Now we'll go through your basic AccuBoom setup. To enter the AccuBoom setup, we'll simply hit the blue button with the wrench and the screwdriver to enter our configuration screen. You will see your icon for the AccuBoom in the top right corner of your screen. Simply select the AccuBoom icon. Now we are in the configuration screen for AccuBoom. This is where we will go to change all our AccuBoom settings. You will see several settings in here. First being your on override. Simply select the on override. This is what allows you to override your AccuBoom when the pop-up is enabled on your screen. To adjust the amount of seconds, simply hit the green arrows, either up or down, to adjust your setting. Once you have it where you want, simply select the green check mark to save that setting. Next you will see the turn off percentage. Simply select turn off percent. This is going to control what percent of your section needs to be in an already applied area before AccuBoom will shut it off. If you were to select 100%, your AccuBoom will not work and will never shut off. 90% is a good setting, so that 90% of your section would have to be in an already applied area before AccuBoom would shut it off. That will keep you from skipping and reduce your overlap to a minimum. Simply hit the green check mark to save that setting. Next you'll see the section selection. Simply press the icon. This is where you assign which sections you want controlled by AccuBoom. All sections with a green check mark are going to be controlled by your AccuBoom system. If you were to have one of your sections unchecked, AccuBoom would then control sections 1, 3, 4, and 5, and section 2 would then spray all the time. Please make sure that everything there is check marked to use your AccuBoom system properly. Once you confirm that, simply hit your green check mark to save that setting. Next is your off look ahead setting. Simply select the icon. This is your off look ahead setting. This is so that your AccuBoom will look a certain amount of seconds ahead of where you're spraying to start to turn off. I will set it to 0.5 seconds so that my AccuBoom is looking one half a second ahead of where I'm spraying and will begin to turn off a half second before I get there. That makes sure that I'm not spraying in an already applied area. To save that setting, simply hit the green check mark. Next will be your on look ahead setting. Simply press the icon. This is to set your on look ahead. This is going to set how far your AccuBoom looks ahead of where you're spraying to start to turn on. As you come in from an already applied area to a non-applied area, this will start to turn on your boom valves one half second before you get to that non-applied area. To save this setting, simply hit the check mark and your setting is saved. Down below you will see Enable Zero Speed Override Pop-Up. This allows a pop-up to come up on your job screen to where you can override your AccuBoom system to spray or overspray in an area that you've already been in. To enable that pop-up, simply make sure you have a check in the box and then you will have your pop-up available. To save these settings, simply hit your green check mark to return to the configuration screen. Now we will review your basic auto boom settings. To enter into the auto boom screen, Simply select your blue icon with the wrench and the screwdriver to enter your configuration page. Then simply select your auto boom icon. In here you will notice that you will see your pressures that you have configured for your auto boom. Now to enable your auto boom for a job you would simply select your red icon over here, press it and it will turn to green. Now your auto boom is enabled. To disable your auto boom, simply select the green icon and turn it to red. Please make sure that you disable your auto boom before returning your booms to the rack. Next, if you hit the green arrow to continue on to the next page, this is your auto boom configuration screen. Sometimes you may need to recalibrate your auto boom. To do this, you come into your auto boom configuration screen and simply select reset defaults. 
After you select reset defaults, it'll make sure that that's what you want to do. And then you simply hit the green check mark to continue. That will clear out all auto boom settings from your console and allow you to go back in and calibrate your auto boom. If you come into this screen by mistake, you can simply hit the red X to take you back into your auto boom configuration screen. Once done, simply hit your green check mark to return to your auto boom screen and then your green check mark again to return back to the configuration screen.